Good morning, mummies. Hello, sheepy. Good morning. It is, well, it's probably about seven now. I've probably been riding for, oh, I've got a little lammy. I've probably been riding just over an hour today. Hang on, let me take this off. It's so cold though. It was like, feels like minus two. Today is a big one. It is just over 300 kilometers five and a half thousand meters the, the route is called not one two it's actually an audax and it goes up to the highest paved road in england which is great don't fell it is steep up there <laughs> so now i'm heading into the trough of is it trough of boland or the trough toby called out north always pulls me up on this i don't know <laughs> and then we're going into the dales it is just stunning so beautiful! Hello! Good morning! Good morning! Do you know how long I have waited to see this? In blue skies and there's green grass and there's lambs and sheep everywhere it was cold but i need to strip off because it's it's getting hot you're just on the bin at the minute usual kt uh, style morning i always coke obviously because i'm quite tired um, i always find the starts of these long rides really tough i think they're the hardest bit it's like no one's got that far to go um oh, i've moved from the bin because i want to have a little seat um about 75k in, done about 12, 1300 meters. And uh, it's felt like 12, 1300 meters. I think because I've not done 300, I, I can't actually remember the last time I did 300k. So I was a little bit, what's the word? Apprehensive this morning. As I set off, I was just like, why am I doing this? What am I doing? And I've had to spend like the first, at least couple of hours just talking myself into like, you can do it, of course you can do it. You've done it before, but I would say this is probably the hardest route. It's the hardest Audax I've done. It's like, it is a long way and a lot of climbing, so, but it's a good training ride. I do like it because it's good and I love this part of the country. It's my favorite place to ride. Look at this weather though. Right there. Also, do you want a like packing prep that I did before doing the 300 and things that I bring? If you do, I will film it. So I think it is different for when I'm doing like obviously longer rides. I bring obviously more stuff, especially when it's this cold. It was minus two this morning, minus two. I mean, that's obscene. It's only maybe 12 degrees now, but it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Just a look at that view. It is just, oh, my favourite place. Look at it. I just, oh my God, I just love riding here. Wait to see this view. I've literally just turned around so I can film it again because it's, does it even look real? Hang on. Are you ready for the best view? Look at the hills and look at the sheepies and the little lambs. Hello. I have missed this so so, so much. Like, just look how quiet and peaceful it is. I just, oh, it just makes me so happy. Do you know people like have their happy places? This is, this is definitely mine. Like, I love GC, I love Mallorca, I love France, but, this in this weather probably a little bit warmer as i could be in short sleeves oh, i just love it I'm currently at t bay to bay services about 105k in and i've got about 20 no 30k until i get to great Dunfell, the bottom of it anyway so to eat i had great angle i had apple juice pop chips oh it you're not even gonna be able to see it on the gopro but that is great done fell right so it's like a golf ball at the top 
that is great done fell actually no that is great done fell and i'm de-layering because i think i'm gonna get quite sweaty up there uh so i'm just gonna have a little nervous tinkle because i'm so, it's weird because i've done it i think this is my i think it's about my seventh time doing it i don't know why it's still like it gets me excited but gets me a little bit nervous as well because it's just so remote and beautiful but also tough so the tractor then and i really wouldn't want to have a little tinkle but i don't want him to come out and me just be oh my god he caught me he caught me oh no what's he saying I, I, i'm like doing that dog thing where if i don't look at him he can't see me i'm just gonna take my top off oh. hi i'm sorry if you saw me no. to stay with me <laughs> This is what Audax or long distance just does to you. You're a great little scarecrow. That's what's left. 7.65k, 652 meters. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Go, I've just met a lovely chap actually. Uh, it was on an e-bag. I was like, oh, are you coming up? Shall we switch? Uh, but he was just saying there's a really nice route in what's it called the Hebridean Way. If every, any of you have done it, let me know because I'm potentially going to Scotland at the start of May with someone that you'll know. I've never ever seen this and I've done it six times. There's all bloody walkers on it. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. See you up there. Oh. This has got to be one of my favorite, favorite climbs. It's just so quiet and so serene. <laughs> but it can be terrible with the wind. I was meant to do an Audax last weekend that came up here and the wind was like, it says it's gonna be 50 miles an hour. I was like, nope, not for me. So I was like, the next good day, I'm gonna come and do this Audax. Look at that view. So, so beautiful. But now I'm coming up to like a little bit of downhill actually, and then quite a steep bit. Fairly steep bit, oh God. There are definitely steep sections on here, but I think the toughest thing on Graydon Fell is the weather. Cause you never know what the top's gonna be like really compared to the bottom. So if you are gonna come and do it, check the weather a lot before you come up there is nothing oh i'm gonna say nothing i love more but just come and look at these views just mountains and green it's just beautiful Ooh, look at that beauty so now for the beautiful descent you're gonna like this. You are gonna love it. I'm gonna really love it. I've had to stop twice to put the top on the base layer and then take it straight back off because it is still baking hot and Tan Hill is another pretty solid climb and there's three ways up you can do it I can't remember which way that up this goes I don't think it's the hardest way And this to me is why the Dales is the most incredible place on earth to ride bikes. Because look, hang on, let's get on my bike. Let me give you a 360 of where I am. I just feel like I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Look, hills, hills, 
greenery, hills, more hills, and no one around. Just a little me. Oh, just look how beautiful she is. The lovely dales. That's a town hill in the highest pub in England. Oh wow. Oh wow. I always forget about that climb. I don't even know what it is. But in perspective, I think that was the hardest of the day. And when I'm on like something really steep, I just kind of take my mind off it. I basically count my pedal strokes. And generally, I'll get to 50 and it'll be over. I count to 50 six times then. I was like, just another one. Just one more 50. So I've done 4,444 meters and we've still got 824 to go. So, still a fair bit of climb. I think there's about 70K left. Oh, this has been a long day out. I have had longer stops than I would normally. Just about to take clothes on and off so many times. All the layers are back on and I've got about 50, 60K to do. So, as it's getting dark, I'll probably catch up with you towards the end. I'm just coming to Kettlewell. One kilometer to go! 306k, 5,172 meters, 10,000 calories! Right, some of my favourite things on this ride, and I didn't get any any of these little bits on camera. There was two that I saw two owls. One of them flew in front of me three times, like just straight across me. And I was like, "This is amazing!" And then I saw two little lambs sort of on a little rock, just looking at me. And I didn't get them either on camera, but they were just like nice little things for me. What else? Great Dunfell. I really enjoyed that in night nice weather. All around though, that is a really, it's a tough route, but it's just so beautiful. Like there's just so many amazing views. It is, I would say brutally beautiful. I'm ready to go and have a little lie down. Um, I will leave my um, Strava link below. I'm actually about to go and snack on. There's a little bit of baguette and some crisps left in this bag that I've carried around since, I don't know when, since co-op in, where was it, Laban, anyway. Goodbye. Good night. Bye.